Yep, that's it guys. Hardcore veteran is finished. Completed. So easy, so simple. Very powerful build. Okay you guys, welcome back to another video. In this video I'm going to show you how you can beat the game in Hardcore Veteran step by step guide, how you can craft the whole build that you need to complete the Hardcore Veteran. We are going to use the God Mode build that we have in the channel which is a mod power based build with the Archon as a first archetype and the Summoner as second. Grab your popcorn guys, sit tight or save the video for when you can watch it in the night because this is going to be a long video, it's not going to be as the other ones and I don't want to skip anything because I want you to see step by step my mistakes as well. Alright, let's go, confirm. Hardcore Veteran, we are starting with Archon guys, we are going for a similar build to the God Mode in the channel, we are gonna pair Archon with Summoner later so we can have most of the mod damage build that we can have early on in the game. Also you start with Enigma which is very nice so we're gonna do that. First things first we are going for the mod which will help us with our damage a little bit. I swear to God I'll fix my work. Oh, let me spend. What do you need? We're finished here. Clementine! Ford? Shit. Where are you guys? <sighs> this is all insane. Both the crystal and Ford. <sighs> Kill the outsider! Here they come.
That's a lot of clocks. The only reason we are going to go for the watchtower is to grab some materials and bail. We don't need the mod from there.
guys we are going to upgrade only the enigma because uh, we don't want the world to be um, higher difficulty we're gonna upgrade only the enigma just a little bit uh, to have a little bit of boost in our damage off we go for the boss fight guys Okay guys, now we are going to use a trick because unfortunately we didn't get any uh, any build parts that we, we, we need. This is actually very bad for a hardcore veteran gameplay. This is kind of good, but we don't have any kind of damage or good amulets to pair with our build. So now we are going to do a very nice trick that I like to do. We are going back to the world. We will buy some rings, I mean we can buy only one, we're gonna get the shock damage ring and we are going to do the trick that I like to do. Okay, this is going to boost our shock damage from the Enigma and it's a very nice core ring to have with your build. Okay, so now guys, what I like to do is, now that I don't have any part of the builds that I need, what I like to do is to go to adventure mode create a new adventure mode on Lossom go for survivor and re-roll and grab everything that we can so in this instance we can also get the uh, Jester's Belt which is a core amulet for our build it's one of the best amulets for the build I also use the same amulet for the god mod build, build as well so this is going to make us super super powerful it's going to complete one of the two main uh, things that we need we are gonna get we're gonna get the stone of malevolence hopefully and uh, the jester's belt as well so we are gonna make a little bit of a detour here guys but Trust me, it's worth it because this is going to help you achieve uh, the completion in the Hardcore Veteran. Just be careful not to die. These guys hurt a lot. Let's slow them down. Uh, sometimes the game is trying to kill you, so be careful with that. And all the resources that we are getting from here also benefit our run in the long term as well. So we're gonna gather some rings, uh, I mean some scrap rings as well, maybe in the process. Just be careful, this is easier than a veteran, so you should be fine, no problems whatsoever.
That looks important. We don't want to wake this guy up, so we are going from the left side. This is where we came from, so we are going here. Again, hug the wall. Now we are going to the left, maybe we have something here. Yeah. Alright. We might as well drink, drink from the water, it gives us health regeneration, which is very nice to have. Okay, we are start to getting stronger and stronger. You need to kill your mods for when it's needed for the elites, guys. Always have your mods ready for the elites. The elites can uh, risk the run for you, so you should always have the firepower to uh, be ready to kill them. Okay, off we go to take the Jester's Belt. Nice and easy, big boost for our damage. You just clap, get the belt, equip it, increase mod and skill cut speed 35%. Casting a skill or a mod increases all damage by 20 for 15 seconds. This is huge. We are also going with the ring. So let's put them in order. Like this. This is the least one that we need. So we have to complete the other two rings as well. Okay. So... Now that we have that, let's check what is this, what dungeon is this, maybe we can grab something that we need. Okay, cancelled chamber, we don't need anything from here, let's go back. Check the middle one. There is also one more place here. But let's get this lit first. Bye bye. You can see the jester as well doing God's work with these elites and the damage to our mods and overall our build. Alright, so we are at Nimue's retreat, I think. 
yeah we are we don't need anything from here so we back it up we don't need to drink as well let's keep going Okay, let's try this dungeon. Let's see what it is. Okay, let's see what we can get from here. I don't like the looks of this. This is a nice place that can have that can drop a lot of good items, so let's see what we can get from here. Let's see what is here. Okay. Oh, there we go, guys. There we go. So one of the main, the, the, the core build that we need. It's Stone of Malevolence and Jester's Belt. There we go, guys. Okay, guys. Now that we have our core build. Talk to the old man. All right. Okay, so... We can go for the Black Cat Band. We can also go for the Firestorm. Let's see if we can go to 1k. Mm. Yeah, let's sell one. Mm -hmm. Now we can go for the Firestorm Ring and the black cat band and later we're gonna get the bright steel ring as well this is going to be very beneficial because we are gonna get the leto armor and uh, we need to be tanky and also have our rolls ready when we need it and this bright steel ring is the best for this occasion all right now that we have everything ready Let's go back to the campaign. For now, we are looking very solid, guys. We have our core build almost ready and we haven't even cleared the world boss from Blossom yet, right? So, we are very powerful. Now, the only, uh, the only thing that we need to do is gather scrap to buy a, a new gun level up our archetype a little bit get the summoner as well so we can slowly complete our build the uh, black cat band will help us uh, cheat death once so this is very very strong to have one defensive ring, ring at, at least in your build guys and this way uh, we are doing a lot of damage uh, i would love to swap this ring for the alumni ring I just wish we have it in the campaign that we got. If not, I'm not going to uh, re-roll the campaigns because it's it is usually in the sanatorium uh, place uh, and I don't like to clear the whole world uh, to get the alumni ring. But the Ma Stone of Malevolence you can get pretty easily. Sometimes it's very close to the first world stone and you can just walk a little bit or sometimes you can have it later on by keep searching the place. Uh, I got it in my first try and uh, I was very lucky on that one. I hope you also get it in your first try or second at least so you don't waste a lot of time doing that. Alright, so let's fix everything up. What can we put here? Let's go with that. Yeah. Why not? Let's go with that for now. Why not? Okay, core build ready. Let's roll.
Okay, this is why we came for. Get everything. Let's see what that juice does. does. Increase the duration of all status effects. Apply by the wearer. Duration varies per status. Okay. Well, I guess that's working. Yep, let's fire it up. Hello? Okay. Alright, let's keep going. Our world level is still level 1, so we are looking pretty good. Okay, so now that we got everything from here, let's keep going. Let's open up this door as well. Let's keep exploring. Now we need to go to the main boss because we have everything that we need. We just farm a little bit in the process. Okay, this is it. We are insanely powerful right now. We have our core build ready. We're missing one or two pieces but that's fine because we are going to get more powerful from the labyrinth. Okay guys, so we need to go for the main road. We keep pushing, keep pushing until we get there. And we're gonna fight the Night Weaver next. Alright, let's reset. Okay guys. We're gonna get a simulacrum. We're gonna go for the Night Weaver and keep pushing to get into the labyrinth because we need the rings from there and we need to progress fast because we already have everything that we need for the build. We are pretty much ready for the annihilation. We just need some levels. Okay, I lagged out a little bit. I blame it on the lag there. We all should. Okay, so let's go out. Okay. Let's get everything that we can from here. Let's get this one. Drink it, why not? Get some health back. Let's get the dolls, so we can offer them to the heart, uh, to the web, and get some relics in exchange. Simulacrum? Yes. This is one of the three spots the simulacrum can be. Um, there is also an amulet here, guys. Which should be in the next door right here. This is also very nice. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. We can use that when we add clear. It's increasing the sh shock damage by 20% and the overload damage by 50%. This one, when we are at clearing and just progressing through the world, it's going to benefit us more because we are not using our mods all the time. So we can use this one for now, the shock device. Because we are using our primary mostly. Here they come. Look at this guy. Slow him down. He didn't even get slowed. We are too powerful at this point. Okay. That should be okay. Okay. Let's go outside and try to fight the Bone Soul, I think he's called, the boss in the area outside.
Let's open up this door as well. Make sure no one is is here to give us trouble. And we are going for the small statue stone. The doll. And then let's fight this guy. gonna use overlord first one two three all right let's be careful be careful as you can see we are very powerful at this point okay we didn't even use the justice belt that was my bad I should have Equip that before the fight, but it is alright. We are very powerful right now. Okay, so now we have the key, we can go up. And start working towards the Nightweaver. Look at this damage, guys. We are not even applying the overload. They are dying before we apply it. Let's chill in this room a little bit. Until every single ad comes. Just like so. Here, nothing there. Let's keep going. Get the chest. If the simulacrum is not down there, guys, at the corner, you can find it here sometimes. Okay, get ready for another fight. Play your life, don't risk, don't rush. Always have to room to run behind you. Like so. And let's keep going. Okay guys, let's jump into safety. This is very risky. Oh, 
we need to go back because we are half HP use the relic already so let's go back <clears throat> the Huntress is a very very risky boss guys and we will not kill it how lucky we are then No need to be risky, just stay back. Yeah, let's go for the stone. Let's make her live, we don't need her here. This is very risky guys. Make her live, please. Okay, that was an unfortunate encounter. She should be at her place sleeping right now. This, this was a very, very bad right. course of events. When this type of stuff are going on, guys, you should always run back to the stone, try to be out of the combat, and save your run. You don't need to rush, no one is rushing you. This is a very bad amulet. Okay, so... There is a dungeon there. We don't need that. We need to go for the main road. Okay, we stuck the the scythe. That's good to know that you can do that. Okay, so we need to go to the right side, my bad. Let's swap our amulet again. in here in elite so get ready to fight look at this damage guys this is very very good damage She managed to hit us, that's okay. We are very close to the stone. The Huntress is sleeping there, we don't need anything from her. We neither need the spear, neither need the crows, so... We reset. Get everything that we need and bail. There is also a chest that we can grab here. We go slow, we don't wake her up. Yeah, and let's back it up the same way we came. Yeah, no need to rush. Go slow, sprint. Kill the 
Fighters. <sighs> Maybe I should check out that castle. this place. Okay, so we don't need anything from down there, there there's also a very weird boss fight there so don't risk the run by going there the only thing we should do right now is to progress and kill the night weaver try to get to the annihilation as fast as possible because the rings the rings that we are gonna need are on our way in the labyrinth and we can complete the build and just go straight for the annihilation
Okay, this is it. Okay, so now that we are maxed out on mod power generation, we are going next for Vigor, guys. should have dodged that but for some reason it got me off guard but it's all right it's not one shotting you so we keep moving okay you guys uh, so we have the king we can kill him to progress I was fortunate enough or unfortunate enough to get him because uh, one we can get the firestorm from him which is going to complete our mod our mods uh, for this build the video was about to be only for the enigma but now we can get the firestorm as well or you can reroll until you get this boss and get the firestorm from him the bad thing with the firestorm is that we are not going to be able to have kinship and uh, it's a little bit risky because we can kill ourselves if a boss comes close to us. So let's go and uh, kill this boss as fast as possible so we can progress through the game. No, it is my another Okay, you guys, we got him. We got him with the help. The character is going mad, okay. Uh, we got him with the help of the Alchemy Stone. We were fortunate enough to get it. Increased base lifesteal by 5% while suffering from a negative status. So this boss apply negative status on you. I got hit in purpose so I can have 5% lifesteal while I uh, get damaged from him, right? So now, now we are going for Vigor, so we can be more tanky. And we can craft the Firestorm as well. But it's going to be very, very, very risky if we are going to use it. I'm not sure if I want to use it yet, guys. I will see uh, as we go, because I don't want to risk uh, an enemy jumping into me and killing me with my own firestorm because I don't have kinship. Okay, so let's keep going until we fight the Nightweaver.
Okay, we can come here. Dump. Okay. Skill damage. Okay. Stack your damage. Alright. We can actually use this one as well. We don't need it. We're gonna change the alchemy stone for the firestorm so we can do more damage with our hotshot and uh, let's go kill that boss let's reset everything on our kit okay let's go kill the night weaver the first ward boss some ammo get ready to build let's see if we can use anything in our inventory to help us no yeah why not wasted our cat band so we need to be very very careful now guys it's getting it's getting very risky finish this kill all right that was a little bit tough but this is why we have the black canned bed you just saw that it saved the run just by having this ring you can pretty much say that you are using challenger <laughs> passive with the archon okay so now let's go back touch the stone and go to the labyrinth we have to be very very careful with this area guys because you can you can step off the map very easily and we don't want to see our run getting failed this way So let's reset. Let's go grab some items. All right, so we are replacing this ring with the fire. It is a defensive ring, 
using a mod regenerates re regenerates 10% of max health over 10 seconds. That means that every time we are using uh, the Enigma, which we are spamming, we're gonna get 10% of our max health over 10 seconds. Now our build is looking uh, even better. There we go. Okay, so nothing here for us. Let's keep rolling. We're gonna keep the sustain for now from the ring. We actually want to go from this way, so we hopefully don't encounter the big ball, which is very annoying to deal with. We still do. guys there we go let's use our mode so we can regenerate a little bit of health Charge the next mode. Use it to regenerate your health. So if we are going to get Siphoner from Nerud, which I hope we, we are, if we are not gonna get the Siphoner, we're gonna keep this ring. The ring that we just got is doing nothing for us, so we keep pushing. Okay, so now we have a little bit of sustain as well, which is always very good. So let's keep pushing. out for this little guys don't get scared because sometimes you can get scared and just jump off the map this way so be careful with that one of the reasons that I got Archon for for the starting archetype is because I don't want to do the jump for the Enigma because you can risk dying there as well. So we are going for minimum 
minimum risk run pretty much have our build ready from the first hour of gameplay and then we just keep progressing keeping our world low level so we can go kill annihilation as fast as possible and as safely as possible without ri not risking uh, any deaths whatsoever Now that we have this open, we jump here. Okay, so now we need to go. We need to go get the the post fight. So this is the Enigma jump. is very risky okay so this is the place we need to go let's jump to the right side we don't need a reset so let's keep going guys keep pushing okay. we'll stay on the low ground and if we're gonna need any help we're gonna need to go to the high ground so we have we have the ball we're gonna apply overload die eventually okay so now you can see why the the ring that gives us 10% health is so important because we have sustain set like so let's use one more so we can heal our HP a little bit let the mod do the damage okay for the big guy you need to slow him one there goes the other okay there we go the big guy is coming slow him right here keep moving Be careful. Use your mods. You can see the slow doing God's work here. So, like so, nice and easy, safe. I always forget about that. I hope I'm not the only one. Let's 
little guy has some nerves. Okay, so that should be it. Oh, we, we get the key. We get the amplitude. Amplitude is benefiting the firestorm. But we are not going to use the firestorm yet. We are going to use it only in certain bosses and in certain encounters where I know that the boss is not jumping on top of you and risk dying to our own firestorm. Okay, so now is a very good time to do a reset. Since we have a short range uh, gun, we can go for a long range gun. The best long range guns in the game are the M1, in my opinion, the Wrangler and the AR. In this occasion, I will go with the AR. Yeah, watch yourself, stranger. Okay, so now we need to go by a mutator, we need uh, the harmonizer, and we also, we also need to upgrade it as much as possible. Okay, we're gonna do it once because we also need to get the summoner archetype as well. Okay, so we need 1.5, for now we're gonna craft a relic charge, so we can sell the nightfall, we can sell the powder, we can sell this one, also that one, let's uh, sell two. That's not that bad, we can use that for later. Okay, so now we have 2.1k. Let's go check if we need anything from here, not yet. So now we can go upgrade the summoner. Okay, so let's let's test our damage right now. So we're spamming the Enigma. Firestorm. So this is going to be our boss DPS right here. Looks very similar to the god mode build that we already have in the channel. So now we are very 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 powerful guys. We need uh, to keep in mind that uh, Firestorm will also kill us, so we need to be very, very careful when we are using it. Hopefully we get the burden of the destroyer as well, which is one of the best. I know what this is. Maybe Wallace will know. Until next time. Okay guys, so now we have the summoner as well. So at level 1 we don't have anything but we are gonna get we are gonna get the benefits later we can upgrade everything with the rest of the money the harmonizer will not level up the world it is very important not to level up your guns guys only the enigma one or two levels should be okay to help you uh, to help you with uh, the damage a little bit. Don't upgrade everything because the, the world is going to level up and it's going to be much harder to complete uh, the encounters. Okay, so let's let's roll. 
Okay guys, so let's use the portal. Great. So this guys is this this boss is is hard, but I'm going to show you how I'm doing it. I'm going to show you the way I do it and uh it's it, it's working for me. I will show you the same exact way that I'm doing it. Hopefully, uh, it's gonna help you. Uh, I always go with uh, an AR. The Black Cat Band is not going to do anything for you in this encounter. If you die, you are pretty much dead. So, let's go and complete this boss as well. Let's skip, focus and let's go. The AR is amazing because you can one tap almost everything. Right here, we wait for the the hole. Let's keep searching. Let's see the rotations. You need to complete this cube before moving to another one. Okay, let's be careful. Right. We need to kill that cube first and then keep pushing. Might as well try to kill this one as well. Okay, there is a hole here so we wait. There we go guys, now we can push. So we're gonna push this way. back it up a little bit because the timing was unfortunate okay so now we can go so now the way I do it is I wait for this one as soon as it's open we shoot that one then wait from the right side oh out of ammo I was unlucky be careful with the small balls. Let's wait again right now. Great. So now we can hear a cube coming, so we we need to heal. Okay, and now keep pushing. Be careful with that one. Now we can push. jump across get this one get this one and that's it guys this is the safest the safest route after many many attempts in my main campaign this way uh, you can pretty much do it uh, all the time and not risk your run okay so now we progress through Our, our main concerns now are off, uh, off the menu because the cube uh, boss is uh, arguably one of the many reasons why people fail in the hardcore veteran, especially in solo, because if you're gonna die, you're dead. You cannot uh, get revived. You just die and the black cat band is not helping you. As you saw with the Night Weaver that it saved us, otherwise the run would be failed. Okay, so now uh, what we actually need to do is to touch the stone and go to the place uh, back so we can go grab the leather armor. But it's alright, so now we need to go that way. Okay. 
right, the reason why I'm using the mods is to regenerate some health. Let's be in this corner. We are not gonna use the Firestorm because he can literally jump over our head and kill us with our same. So one thing we can do is take better position. Okay. <laughs> Three points. <laughs> okay, guys, now we need to jump behind and go get the little armor. Let's be safe. Okay, now that we have our leather armor, our chances of winning are increasing. We need to find a world stone and we have to go by the bright steel ring. Okay, so now we go. Now we can go by the bright steel ring. Let's talk again. We can equip the Leto armor, so we go from 108 armor, we go up to 220, so we double our resistances and we are swapping one defensive ring, which is going to be the Blood Cat Band for the Bright Trail ring. So now we can dodge very fast, we are very tanky. And also guys, I completely forgot about the Chicago typewriter and uh, since we have an AR, we're gonna go with the M1. I'm gonna sell the cube and we're gonna buy the M1 for long distance damage. You can actually use whatever gun you like guys. Okay, so let's uh, use the Firestorm. Let's use the, the harmonizer. We should be ready to go, guys. Let's progress to another planet. Okay, so now we need to go to the left side. Our build is almost completed. 
Now we are much tankier. We also have an insane amount of damage. Slow this guy. Let's use the firestorm on him. Wait it out. We need to be very careful, and we need also to speed run so we can. Uh, How many of these are there? Finish fast Find these from this world and keep going. Let's progress. You tell me. No, no. You.
truth is, and I don't want to find out.
Okay, you guys, we are safe to use uh, the Firestorm on this boss, so we are going to. Otherwise, we just use the Black Mole or the Chicago Typewriter with the Hotshot. Um, okay, so let's see this boss. So you can see how powerful this build is, it, was, it wasn't even a risk guys. So we did go eventually for the Cryptid Ring because our damage is pretty much uh, at the point that we want, so we might as well have more sustain, so don't risk to die, uh, stay low on HP or use our relics uh, in any occasion unless we really 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 need to do it. The build is so powerful guys we don't even need to reset okay so now we need to find the soul spark and go for the boss
Panzer. Okay guys, let's uh, proceed to the world boss. For this boss we are not going to use the firestorm because he is uh, rushing you, so we are gonna go with... Actually we're gonna go with the type, typewriter with hotshot. Let's reset and let's go for the boss. We will get eaten, the area is bigger and uh, it's easier for us to maneuver through that place. Only I want for the drift, yet I did not bat it. Excellent. Okay, so let's get eaten and let's fight him. Okay, so that's it. My guy is still hitting me dead. Alright. Okay, so... We're done with this boss as well. And let's keep going, guys. The build is very powerful. It works perfect. You can still see that if you don't have the um, Firestorm, you still do an insane amount of damage. In the occasions that you can use the Firestorm, your damage is going to be even higher and the Stone of Malevolence is going to work even better because the elemental damage that you are doing also resets your next mod. Okay, so let's go to the Labyrinth and keep going for the next world, which is going to be Yesha. And in Yesha, 
you can choose not to kill the Ravenger to make the process faster and this is what we are going to do um, so we can go to the end game uh, fast and complete the run safely okay so the more levels you have the harder the world is for now if you can see at the top right we have world level 5 and that's because we didn't level up our uh, guns a lot we only leveled them up to level 2 only the enigma and now we keep the world in low level so it's going to be easier for us the most important part is to complete uh, a good build so you can have a good synergy in between your mods and your uh, abilities and also um, to be tanky with a good set of armor if you do everything as I show in this video you are going to be uh, golden and it's going to be very easy for you guys to complete hardcore veteran and get uh, everything done in one go basically if you are at this point and you know that there is only the ravager left you pretty much know that you have almost completed the uh, uh, hardcore veteran so now our chances of winning are 95 percent we have a five percent uh, failure if we're gonna fuck up somehow and not uh, pay attention or be uh, focused on what we have to do the funny thing if you kill this with the enigma they stand still for some reason I don't know why okay, we have a trait there at this point we can uh, we can use only the mods if you want for the damage uh, and also heal ourselves in the process You can see how easy it is to manage everything now that we have the armor and we have our all uh, we have completed our build so now we can keep going we can go back to the war 13 and level up our build a little bit more by upgrading our harmonizer and also uh, buying a hard if we have the money for it. All right. Off to our first boss, the Nexus. We can find the stone. We can reset so we can have our summons on full HP. And keep progressing through the world. 
this is a very easy boss we can go with firestorm for this boss and finish it very quickly And that's it for this boss as well guys, this is one of the easier bosses to defeat, so now we just keep going, progress until we can get to Annihilation. So we are not going to do any puzzles or anything. We are just going to going we are just going to complete the the world, kill the ravager. Just be careful standing in the on the branches because uh, sometimes you can roll off. Always fight and aim when you are off the branch.
this is the mother mind and we can use the firestorm for this boss so I'm going to swap actually now and reset again okay so let's go like this go like that let's go Right there. Watch for the bolts. Hug the wall. Amazing. This should be phased, so we are moving. Okay, I was about to say, let's pop a relic. Yeah, this should be it, so might as well have more damage reduction. Okay. Off we go, let's get the small ones. Amazing. Bolts. And that should be it guys, off to the next phase. Let's keep going.
Okay, you guys, so let's keep pushing. Essentially, you can use your uh, Enigma mods like healing potions. Just use one, get 10% of your health back. And you have your shots back as well because of the build. We are regenerating our mods very easily. If you shoot the guy that explodes to into leg on, on on his legs, he's falling down and eventually uh, pops by himself. In case you didn't know that, now you know. is down We have to be as careful as possible, but we are fairly tanky, so we can do many mistakes. As you can see, guys, I'm not a pro player dodging every single thing in the game. I'm just a casual player playing with a good strategy. And if you do the same, you can achieve the same results as well. Okay, we are going for blood bond, even more damage reduction, and just share. The damage with our summons. Okay, so I think we are going backwards, so we need to go straight and then down.
Okay, so here we are at the next boss. Let's take of that. Let's take care of that fast and keep going so we can go to the rooted earth. Okay, so let's use our healing potion. In case you missed it, if you use a mod, you regenerate your health. Using a mod regenerates 10% of your max health over 10 seconds. This is the easy ring that we got from uh, the labyrinth. Now it's a good time to swap for the Jester's Belt as well. Let's reset that healing effectiveness. We don't need that. Our build is pretty much done already. Okay, so let's start with a few shots. We can actually use the Firestorm for this boss, no problem. Let's try to make, take as less damage as possible. This is a very easy boss, guys. I wish I wish you get the same boss as well. Shoot the legs. Shoot the mirror. Damage reduction in case we get hit. The boss is frying. And it's that easy, guys. Glad that's over. Let's upgrade our bo blood bond. Hopefully, we get to level five with summoner and until we get there. But I don't feel like we are going to, and that's okay. Heal up with the mod. We don't need to even reset after the boss fight. That's how powerful we are at the moment. So we keep pushing to get to the Ravenger so we can go to the Rooted Earth. This is one of the rare occasions where they are uh, hiding the, the main path in a dungeon, guys. So be, be aware of that. They sometimes uh, do that, so you have to be careful. Hopefully we get the right dungeon from the first try and we don't have to clear the chimney as well. up a little bit okay so there is an elite there 
Let's start with the firestorm. Use our slow. He's gonna rush us. This is very dangerous. But it worked out. Yeah, so firestorm in this uh, type of scenarios is a little bit dangerous because you can kill yourself with it. So we are going to the right spot. Don't touch my boss, my boys, please. Thank you. Don't touch my balls, man. Don't touch my balls. They are precious. Okay, so... Alright, we got it from the first try. It was this door, it was hidden, and it was showing uh, as if it's a dungeon, but it's not. You just need to go down right there. Let's see just if there is a simulacrum here, yeah. Here it is. It's either going to be here or at the balcony on top, uh, at the place where the, le le the lever is. Okay, so now we can buy another heart. So it usually is right there, or from the other side, or at the place that we just took it. Okay. Let's reset. You can Google the harp song. It's five zero four zero three. Four, one, zero. That means that everything is correct, and off we go to the Ravenger. We are going to be done with our run very, very soon, guys. You don't have to fight the Ravenger. It's not that it's a, it is a, a hard boss or anything. You just save time and don't risk any deaths. Because we don't need any of his guns as well. So we just kill the doe, get going and push to go to the root earth as fast as possible. Okay, so let's skip that. We're killing the doe. We get the Ravager's mark as well. Trade point to the blood bond. That's it. Let's go grab our chests and keep going. One more thing you can do is to start with Yesha, kill the doe, then go 
uh, and take uh, everything that you need from the labyrinth and you can uh, also reroll Lossom to get the Stone of Malevolence and uh, then go for the the Lossom world whenever it's available to you. I just like to finish with the hard stuff and then go for the easier. But you can do the other way around too because when you are at the hard stuff you're gonna be powerful enough to not risk dying as I did with the uh, Night Weaver. Because on the Night Weaver we got saved from the Black Cat Band and we could avoid that if we had our build ready from the second world because you are pretty much uh, uh, finished with your build after the second world after you go to the labyrinth we don't need the evader uh, armor or the katana or the ring inside so we're just gonna push to the victory we are gonna need the resonating heart which is there to replace our heart because it's the only build component that we haven't touched yet. Resonating heart is my favorite heart, so I'm gonna go with it. Let's fry this bitch. See ya. Okay, let's go grab the heart. There's a chest here as well. I don't like it that if you are in a reload animation you cannot open chest. I don't see the reason why. But it is okay. So, resonating heart. We are switching that. The stamina recovery. And the stagger damage, I guess. Again. Okay, so we got the, the Ravager's Mark am Amulet. We don't need to use that. And we also got the Sage Stone, which we already checked. I don't know why it has an exclamation mark, but that's alright. Okay, so... Let's uh, speed run these guys and uh, go to the finish. Might as well pick everything up in the process. Hello? Blood bond. This game is weird sometimes. Okay, so there is a mini boss here. Any chest here? No. There's a mini boss here, which is very easy. No need to stress. Stop.
There he is. Unload everything. God. Okay, that scared me a little bit, guys. I had a, I had a venom, a venom jump scare there. That spear, if, if, it, if it's gonna hit you in the head, it's gonna be very, very painful. As was his. Okay, before we fight the Cancer and before we go to the other bosses as well, we're gonna go buy a red potion to increase our health pool just to be a little bit more safe. For now, we are okay, we just gather and farm everything around until we are there, which is very close. Okay, let's go back to the War 13 before we fight Cancer. We have 7k scrap, let's go upgrade our mutator. Hi, I'm Mr. Paxoltech, how are you? We don't have any corrupted Illuminate Crystal because we didn't clear any dungeons and that's fine. Let's get one mutator for the other gun as well. Yep, let's go with feedback. Let's fish for something good. More damage, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> yes, it does, my friend. Thank you so much for the more damage. Alright, that was very, very good for us, guys. So we got 1.49% more damage. That is huge! That is huge! Of course it's not, it doesn't even matter, guys, but might as well have it. Alright, so... One hour should be fine to clear everything so let's go with one so long as you head back there, let's see what else do we need from here hey. mm -hmm. I mean we are going for the finish might as well go for a simulacrum so we can buy two more hearts for the Annihilation guys, we are not going to use the Firestorm because she is uh, flying on top of you and 
she's coming very close she he it I don't know I'm sorry I don't wanna assume genders uh, annihilation is uh, flying very close to you and also I would like to finish it without the firestorm in case you haven't uh, you don't have the firestorm in your uh, playthrough because in my other playthroughs I never got the firestorm this was my first my first time in a hardcore veteran uh, getting the firestorm the king uh, boss that gives you the firestorm so I want to complete it as you guys will so you can relate as well with the build and see that you can finish it without the firestorm I just use the firestorm in some bosses which uh, they are a little bit uh, easy just to make it faster okay so now we are ready to go guys let's push for the victory and let's push for the completion there we go cancer you are going to die my friend let's skip that We got him stuck. Amazing. Very good reactions. What is he doing? I don't know. As it's the same it's the same damage phase as with the god mode video guys it is the exact same rotation in this case we have the enigma we don't have the sunshot let's go with the blood bond again not that it matters but it is all right Phenom can be a little bit tricky, but we're gonna do our best not to die. We don't even need to reset, but let's reset in the sake of good faith. Okay, let's keep going. Like so, if the firestorm is high ground, it's not damaging you if you're under it. So, in case you didn't know, now you know.
shit. He pushed through the slow that easily? How? He might jump over it. That was strange. There is another heart in there guys, but we don't need it, so we keep pushing, we are skipping whatever we don't need, so we keep doing that. This is a mini Venom, so we need to be careful. As I got hit twice. That. Okay, this is risky now. These are so annoying, these are so annoying, I hate those. Whose idea was this, uh, this ad? But it's not a good idea. I don't like it. They are super annoying. It's the first time I see so many ads in this area. What the hell? That was annoying. Our level is 5, the world's level is 13. Okay, 
let's not reset. So we have an area in front of us. Oh shit. What was that? Wait here at the corner or at the stairs to have high ground. Let's be a little bit of a little bit aggressive here so we can finish with this faster. Never mind. Let's play safe. Okay, I guess we can pass through. Should be one more. Yeah, there we go. Stay right there in the corner, buddy. FPS Wayfinder <laughs> All right, let's keep pushing We don't need the rings, we don't need anything, we need to go straight to the Venom. Okay, that was unlucky. But we should be fine. Okay. So this is going to be the Venom fight. Let's reset, drink our health potion. So we can have a bigger health pool. Okay, so now we are at 155 and 220 armor, which is uh, very nice. 
Okay, let's get him. Okay, we got stuck. Okay, let's wait it out a little bit. Guess not. He's elemental resist. This is a little bit unlucky, but this is okay. Let's play safe. Can you play smart with your stamina? So, we need to see where the boss is, he's on top of us, watch out, let him burn, and that's it. I think we didn't even use one heart for the boss. So if we didn't have the Firestorm and we had the Chicago Typewriter or the AR with the the Fire Bullets would be much easier, but we still managed to kill him with the Firestorm as well, it's no problem. Okay, off we go to the Annihilation and Hardcore Veteran is finished guys. <clears throat> Let's reset. We have to be ready and we have to be prepared because this is your only try. You don't get another. Alright, so let's go. I will shut up, focus for the boss, and uh, I will see you guys as soon as we kill it.
Okay. I'm fucking up real good, guys. So now you can see that even if you fuck up, this build is very powerful. Yep. I was fucking up left and right, guys. That hit me, okay. This is a very unfortunate reload time. This would not be acceptable in an apocalypse run. Okay, we are very close for the final hit. Yep, that's it guys. Hardcore Veteran is finished, completed. So easy, so simple, very powerful build. The God Mode works in the Hardcore Veteran as well. It is the most powerful and the most consistent build in the game. This is my personal opinion. I showed you how you can do it yourself. I'm not saying that this is the best build for you, but I can show you how you can build this exact build from scratch. I'm not skipping any parts. I'm showing you everything one by one, step by step, how you can obtain every single part of the build and complete the hardcore veteran yourself, guys. This was uh, my hardest video to create because I cannot edit my voice when I'm playing the game for so many hours. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed. I hope I helped you do it yourself because finding uh, teammates and ha finding people who can, you can rely on, it's very difficult, but you can always rely on yourself to finish the job and complete it yourself. Okay, you guys, let's sum up the build again. Chester's Bell, Grounding Stone. You can find the Grounding Stone right here at the War 13. Stone of Malevolence, reroll your adventure mode in survival, easy difficulty until you get the Stone of Malevolence because, guys, you will not be able to 
play the build like we did in the video stone of malevolence is the the heart of the build you need to have this ring it is very easy to get we just reload reroll once or twice i got it at my first try just get the stone of malevolence this is super important don't forget and don't skip it just to risk the run stone of malevolence is the most important component of this build to work and help you finish the hardcore veteran and after that bright steel ring you also buy this one from the old guy and last but not least the encrypted ring another defensive ring that you can use for 10 percent max health regeneration over 10 seconds it can stack up to 30 seconds so you are constantly healing all the time while you are doing damage you can swap this ring if you are feeling more spicy for the shard banded ring to have more damage but you saw how powerful the encrypted ring is and how uh, easy it made our run so that's it guys i hope you enjoyed this was a blast for me to do i was very very hyped in the whole run uh, I had a comment from a guy who wanted to see the solo uh, the solo hardcore veteran there you go uh, I promised and I delivered this was very very fun for me to do for all those who stayed so far thank you for everything thank you for the likes for the comments for the subscriptions I really appreciate all the love that I'm getting guys the channel is so new and you're giving me so much love. I really, really appreciate it. I will keep working hard and I will keep giving you as much value as I possibly can. I will see you guys in the next one.